Welcome back to the Rich Ice YouTube channel. Today's class will be learning how to make this gathered organza of shoulder sleeve. So it's actually gathered in layers and it's a beautiful sleeve and it is beginner friend. It's very simple to make. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'll be working with this basic sleeve and this organza fabric okay so this is a basic half shoulder sleeve i already drafted this and a full tutorial on how to draft this is already on the channel if you don't know how to so now i have my basic sleeve now and the organza will be used to form the design that we have on that basic sleeve so now to know the amount of organza to use and the placement the first thing you will need to know determine is the layers of organza that you want to have so now you can decide to have like five six or seven or eight layers depending on what you want so now to do this now i'll measure the total amount of sleeve that i have here and i have around 12 and a half inches so this 12 and a half inches now you divide it by the number of layers that you want for your organza so let's say you have 12 inches and you want six layers if you divide 12 by six it means you have two inches so it means each of these layers will have two two inches interval between them so now you're going to be marking that okay so two after two is four after four is six okay after six is eight then after eight is ten okay so we're going to be having one two three four five six i hope because one will be on the uppermost part here so now you're going to be having one two three four five six layers so if you want more than this all you just need to do now is divide it by the total number of layers that you want your sleeve length okay that's your actual sleeve length divided by the total number of layers that you want so now I'm, this is me trying to make this into a straight line okay so the two two inches interval that i marked now i'm making it into a straight line so now to note the the length of the organza that will be working with because this is going to be in layers so the organza that you're going to be placing in on it should be long enough to cover a bit of the next one so that where you gather this to it which is this line is not going to show of course we have two two inches interval between each of them so if you use two inches it's not going to cover this next line completely so for me to be able to cover it i must use something whatever it is that i'm going to be using have to be more than these two inches that i have here so you can do two and half you can do three but you don't want to do too much also so that it does not cover the next one completely so two and half or three inches is fine with allowance and by the time i turn it in if you're going to be turning it it should even be shorter so now my organza i'm going to make it three inches in length and then the width can be as long as you want depending on the ruffles that you want so now this can actually be pleated or gathered which i think i'll be going for the gathering so now what i'm going to do now is to bring in my organza okay so i'm using this orange organza and then i'm going to fold it in multiple so that it will be easy for me to cut out so now i'm just putting this on fold so I can fold this by four. Okay, so now after putting this on fold, now to cut it, remember we are working with a length of three inches. So now this three inches has to be on fold. And by the time we fold this, it will give us a total of six inches. So I'll be measuring these six inches on my organza fabric. So by the time I measure six inches and I want to pleat this, it has to be doubled like this. So three times three is going to give me six. So I'll measure six inches on my organza now at intervals then i'm going to cut it out so the thing is you can actually pleat or gather this as you sew on your ankara fabric but i just prefer to do this separately so that when i'm placing it on my ankara i just need to sew it down it's easier that way compared to just doing it as you go but whichever one you want is fine for you so i'm just measuring them so i have six inches here the next six inches is going to be 12 inches then the next one is going to be 18 inches so i'm just measuring it then i'll cut these long strips of fabric so this organza is about two yards okay so i've made this mark now the next thing now is to cut it open 
so you can see i'm just cutting these six inch intervals six inches interfaces that i marked so i'm cutting it out okay so to prepare this organza now i'm just going to pick one of it like this i remember it's going to be three inches by the time i fold it so i'm going to take it together now you can actually depends on what you want you can actually turn this first before you do this or you just take it together and then set it on this other part remember this is an organza fabric and it frills so you can see so after knitting this place now the next thing now is for us to take it to the machine and to, on the machine now you can either pleat it so if you want to pleat it you just pleat it like this at intervals you pleat it or you just run a gather stitch and then gather it whichever one you want to work with is fine okay so now we're on the machine like i said you can either gather it or pleat it so now i have this now to know the length that you need for your gathering or your place you can just measure the space that are going to be adding this to i have around 15 inches here so this is 15 inches you can either multiply it by two three or four depending on the fullness that you want so this 15 inches i'll be multiplying this by four and that's going to give me 16 in 60 inches sorry so i have an organza of six inches in length and the width is going to be around 60 inches just like i measured so I'm just trying to be sure I have up to that here. Okay. So you can see I have about 60 inches of organza. So now the next thing now is to sew it. To sew this now you pass your thread. And then I've set my machine to gather stitches. Because I want to use the gathering method. But I'm just going to show us. Assuming you want to pleat this now. You just put it under your machine now. You can either sew it down first. The two down. Or you set it just to conceal it or you just sew it and then turn it so that you have something neat so after you have made this side neat the next thing to do is to put this under your machine then you start to gather it so uh, to pleat it as you go now you pleat it you sew the next one you pleat it again you sew so you can see what you're having so you're going to be pleating as you go if that is what you want and like i said you can actually decide to just split this directly on your lines as you go but i don't want to do that because i prefer to do it separately because i feel it's easier that way so now if you want to pleat it that's how you go about it but if you want to gather it i've just put my machine on under gather stitch now so i'm just going to fold this into two and by the time i fold this into two i have three inches then place this under my machine and then i will start sewing it so now i'm just going to be putting the two together and then i'll sew so i'll sew like this till i get to the end. you can see i'm just sewing it straight. okay so you sew it to the end once you get to the end you drag it and bring it out and then you cut it so after cutting it now you take one strand of your thread and then you pull it gently to gather this together okay so you should do this process gently you can also gather it manually but i feel this is going to give me an even gathering because i can actually see this before i place it on my fabric so i prefer to just gather it like this and then you gather it to the size that you want to work with which is 15 inches that's your initial starting measurement so you're gathering this and then you pull your thread gently so you gather everything together and then by the time you gather everything you check to see that you can see that we don't have even gathering you can see we have plenty gathered here and then we don't have none here so by the time you are done you just spread everything evenly so that you have something uniform so that is what this method does for you it gives you that opportunity to actually check what you have before you sew it to your fabric okay so now i've gathered this now and i have done six of these so you can see them so now the next thing now is to pick them one after the other now and to start fixing it and i use the 60 inches measurement because 60 inches is actually the widest part so i just decided to use it for all of them so what i've gathered here now is going to be more than what i have on this upper part because 
of obviously this is not up to 15 inches i just have around nine inches so whatever excess that i may have there i will cut it off and you can actually cut i gather it up to the nine inches but i don't want it too full i just want to have uniform gathering across it so that was why i just decided to gather it to the 15 inches so now i've set my machine back to my normal stitch length and then i'm just going to be placing it on this now and then i will sew it okay so now you place it you put your machine foot underneath it you back it, and then you start to sew so now when you are sewing this now because of your gathers you don't want to drag it too much so that you don't lose that gathering that you have there you just take it slow and then you sew so you can see how i'm sewing this now you take it slow you arrange everything how you want it to be and then you sew so you continue sewing until you get to the end point okay and like i said do not drag too much you don't need to drag it just arrange it well and then you sew so now i'm at the end point now and like i said it is actually more than the actual measurement that I took. So the excess, I'll just back it now. And then this excess that I have here, I'm just going to cut it off. Okay. So now the first layer is done. I can see what we have. So like I was saying, because I used three inches, you can see where the next line is. And then you can see that this is actually over it because we used three inches. So we still have like one one inch excess because of the two, two inches spaces that they have in between them. So now by the time I place the next one, this rough edges, because this rough edges here, I'm going to cover it up by just aiming it or turning it with a buyer so that this upper part will be neatly finished. But these subsequent ones, I don't want these rough edges like I have here to be showing. So what I'm going to do now is to be using the next one to cover it up. That was why I made sure that the organza that I cut is at least longer than the two inches interval that they have in between them. So now to sew the next one now, I'm just going to flip this over and then bring in my next gathered organza that I have and then I'll place it under the machine just like I did for the first one and then I'm going to sew it so you continue doing this same thing till you fill up all these spaces you can see that it's quite simple to do this okay so you just sew it the same way we did for the first one following the line that you already marked then you sew it like that so again this is also not as long as the 15 inches we started with but it's quite longer than the first one so now the excess we're going to be having for this one is not going to be as long as what we had for the first one so once you finish it you back stitch now and then cut off the excess that you have on this also so now if you bring this down now you will notice that it has successfully covered the next one so you see what we have you cannot see the rough edges that you're going to be having here although you must have need this place so that you don't have all this but despite that we don't want these gathers that we did here to be showing that's why it is important for you to make sure that the next one cover it but it shouldn't cover it completely also you can see that we can still see this second one this is not covering so you cannot use four inches for example because four inches is going to cover everything up completely then there will be no essence of doing all this so now i'll just go over now and gather the remaining four parts then bring it back to show us okay so now i've gathered this up to the fifth one which is one two three four five my organizer is exhausted so i'm just going to stop it here and trim off the last one but if you want to do this you know what to do you just need to fill this up to the number of layers that you're working with so this is just a tutorial and i don't have enough organza anymore so i'm just going to trim off this last slot and i'm supposed to have the sixth one too okay and then now the next thing now i'm going to hem this lower part here so that it can be neatly finished so i'm just going to fold it twice and then hem it so after hemming it now i'm going to shape the sides 
using my allowance that I left. So I'm going to shape this on this side like this. Then on the upper part also, you can either use a bias like I have here. Use your bias to neatly turn this side in so that you have something neatly finished like this. And then your sleeve is ready. Okay, so now I've turned it neatly on the upper part with a bias and then I've hemmed it on the lower part. So now the last thing to do now is to sew it close by the allowance that I left here and then that up. We take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what we have. Okay, so this has been sewn now and we have one, two, three, four, five layers and you can see that each of the layers are covering each other like we drafted when we were cutting this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.